Hey ladies. Hey Tatum. Hey ladies, come on in the chat. Come on in. Come on in the live. Just waiting for my girl Coco to join me. Hey ladies, welcome on in. Tonight we are going to be talking about the Find Your Voice Academy Retreat, so stay tuned. I'm just waiting for my girl Coco Chanel to join so we can get started with the conversation, so we can tell you all about our experience. If you are looking to start a podcast or if you currently have a podcast, this is the retreat that you want to attend, okay? So we are going to be talking about the Find Your Voice Academy Retreat tonight. I am Latrice. I am the host of the God is My Superpower podcast. I went to the Find Your Voice Academy retreat in December. And so tonight I'm going to be sharing you with, with you all my experience. I'm just waiting for my girl Coco to join me so we can get started with the conversation. Yay. So write me, write me and let y'all let me know if you are interested in starting a podcast or if you have a podcast already, if you are interested in joining a retreat or learning about it, let me know. Like, let me, you know, we're going to have this discussion tonight. So let me know if you guys have a podcast already or um, are interested in starting one. That's the conversation tonight. We're talking about the Find Your Voice Academy retreat. So I am going to be here and I'm going to be leading a discussion on what the retreat was like what I got from it, some takeaways. Okay, yes, yes. So you, uh, McCoy, you said you went to the one in November. So yeah, so all my Fire Voice Academy Retreat veterans. Whoop, whoop. Okay, you start in November. Okay, I'm sorry, I missed that. Yay, congratulations. Hey, Coco girl. Just go on and request in, sis, and I am going to bring you on in, girl. Okay, Miss Butterfly, you said you have a podcast. Awesome, awesome. Hey, ladies, come on in, come on in. I'm excited to talk about this discussion tonight. Okay, I think Coco is ready. I'm on in the live. Hey, Coco Girl. Hey, Latrice. <laughs> hey, Boo. How are you? I am great. How are you? I am doing phenomenal. I'm excited to be on here with you. Awesome. Me too. I miss you. It's been so long. <laughs> it so, has. <laughs> so tonight, you know, we have the luxury and the opportunity of talking about our experience at the Fine Voice Academy retreat. Um, myself, my name is Latrice. For those who do not know, um, I'm Latrice. I am the host of the God is My Superpower podcast. Um, and Coco, you want to introduce yourself? Yes. My name is Coco Chanel, the Mademoiselle. I'm a social media manager as well as a brand coach for fitness professionals, and I do digital marketing. Awesome. So, ladies, we both attended the Fire Voice Academy retreat in December of 2019. Um, and it was absolutely phenomenal, absolutely amazing. And so tonight, that is the discussion that me and Coco Chanel are going to have with you all tonight about the Find Your Voice Academy. As you know, as you can see, I have pinned in the comments that we have another Find Your Voice Academy retreat coming up very soon. And so we have an open house coming on October 7th. It'll be that um, next Wednesday at 7 p.m. And so if you have not already make sure you click the link in the anchor media bio and go ahead and sign up for the retreat 
So um, for those who may still be, you know, wanting to learn more about the retreat, that is what me and Coco Chanel are going to talk about tonight. So Coco, I know you, like I said, we attended back in December. I am from the DMV area and Coco, you are from Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes, live in Atlanta currently. Awesome. And so when we went to the retreat back in December, it was about 20 of us ladies. Um, all of us were from all over different places of the United States. And it was just a phenomenal experience. So what would you say, um, you know, what your experience was like attending the retreat back in December? Um, I would say my experience was, it was very refreshing. It was inspiring. It was powerful, definitely educational. Um, I just loved it. I really, I, I really enjoyed the group of women who were there. And of course, I mean, we love, we love Tatum. Right. But, um, <laughs> but the group of uh, women that were there made it a plus. Um, so yeah, I would say that's, um, that's how I would describe the retreat. Okay. And so for me, the same. Um, it was just absolutely phenomenal. We stayed in the beautiful hotel in Virginia. It was just the atmosphere, the ambiance was just absolutely amazing. It was like about, a, I think, a four, three to four day retreat, if I can remember. And so it was just absolutely amazing. I like to call it a boot camp. So because I felt like it was very intense training that we, you know, received there. Yes. And for me, I'm all about like investing, right? So I'm like, I'm not going to invest in something if I don't feel like I'm going to get a return. But I can absolutely say that this retreat, you know, it was worth the investment. I yes. received hands on, well, we both received hands on training as to how to start up a podcast. Neither one of us had a podcast in the beginning. And so this, you know, it helped us to be able to create, you know, how to set up a podcast, how to monetize a podcast, how to build our financial structure, all of the different things about how to even see the power and the value of our voice, you know? Right. And so that was the main thing. As you can see, it's called Find Your Voice Academy Retreat. But it definitely encouraged us to be able to have a one to be able to value our own voices, to be able right. to value the story and the testimony that God gave us. And so for you all that, ha you know, are in, may have currently have a podcast or is like us wanting to start a podcast, I would definitely say, like, it was definitely hands-on. We got all the training that we need. We learned how to edit a podcast. We even recorded our, our first podcast there. And so, like, Tatum did not come to play with us. Like, it no. was definitely, like, when we left, it was, like, an all-day uh, all day sessions. And I'm telling you, when I left out, I was, like, tired. Like, this was tired. Because it was so... <laughs> It was like, it was real, it was really um, a lot of work, but it was great, you know? And I think for me, that was one of the, the, the parts that I really enjoyed was the fact that we did actually do work. We did mm -hmm. actually learn how to set up the podcast and create the podcast. So what would you say was like your favorite um, time, your favorite moment at the time? Um. My favorite moment was I have I had a couple of favorite moments actually. My favorite moment was actually um the social media the I think it was it was the social media piece so we had to do the challenge mm -hmm. of um we got in groups of two and then we had to display or or portray exactly what that podcast was through uh video marketing and we mm -hmm. only had like what like 10 minutes to do it. Oh, um, I don't know who was that much. <laughs> It was, but it it was so much fun because mm -hmm. our creative juices were flowing. And like you said, it was a lot of work that we had to do. I remember um, another day that I liked was the, the marketing piece. I, I believe it was when Jasmine had come yep. in. Mm -hmm. And my brain was like depleted, like completely. Um, <laughs> it was, but but it actually, it stretched my creativity a little bit more. So I would say like the retreat, my favorite part about the retreat, of course, is the bonding, but the stretching of our um, of our creativity and mm -hmm. and um, our strategizing that I would say that would be my favorite part of the retreat with the different activities that she had us doing. Yeah, I do like the activities as well. well I love the activities. I feel like they were very creative. Yeah. Um, like you said, the, the social media piece, it was just funny because I mean, one, it was a group project. But a lot of us was in there like, oh, my God, I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do iMovie. And da, 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 da. But, I mean, it was great because um, 
you know, we definitely, she took us through all of how to edit an iMovie and how to use GarageBand and how to put the music over top of the video and all that other stuff. So it was really good because everything that we learned there, we were still able to take that away after the experience and be able to actually like now apply it. And so I would say my favorite moment, well, my favorite, like my favorite part of the retreat, um, because it was so many favorite parts, like you say, so many great moments. But my favorite, the, the remarkable thing for me was being in a room and being surrounded by like-minded women. Yeah. I feel like that was so necessary for me because, you know, for me being in this, I'm a new podcaster coming in, right? I've never had any podcasting, any kind of recording experience. I've never been in media before. So that was new for me to come into a room and to be able to be around women that wanted the same goal as me. Like they were like-minded. We had the same vision, the same goals in mind in the sense of making a faith-based podcast. Right. Because, you know, there's a lot of podcasts out here, but it's only a small few that are actually focused on doing a faith-based podcast, right? right? So we're already set apart. So it was really good for me to just be able to be connected around. My main thing is being around genuine women, okay? Yeah. Like, we were all, there was no drama, there Damn. was no cattiness, no gossiping. Like, we really became like a family. We like, did. We still communicate. We, still, we loved each other. It was like a great bond that I felt like was built and I can really credit Tatum on that because she set that atmosphere already. Mm -hmm. She already set it where the atmosphere was protected, where it wouldn't, people just knew that wasn't even the energy. So I just think that that really helped a lot because now we were able to create bonds with people that, you know, after the experience, we have a similarity. We are able to connect and still be able to have a community that was built. So I would say I love the community, the women, that that applied for the retreat that were accepted into the retreat that came with just a humble spirit mm -hmm. a genuine like-minded you know goal to be able to create faith-based podcasts and it was just great because i feel like we were able to talk about our insecurities we were able to talk about our fears we were able to pray together and cry together and that was just that was just it for me like <laughs> And you made that a really name. great point. You made a really great point when you when you talking about us bonding because I, I believe it was on the very last day. We still had work to do on the very last day. Yeah. We didn't start doing like the the kumbaya love you type thing till to yeah. the very end, the home stretch. But my mm -hmm. favorite part uh, about it was when Tatum had gave us the homework on um what our episodes would look like and um, what mm -hmm. we'd be talking about. And she gave all of us the opportunity to help one another. That was another yeah. favorite part of mine. Um, mm -hmm. Because you guys, with the help of you guys, you guys gave me like 15 different episodes and ideas that I, I didn't even have to come up with. Yeah. I was just kind of like, well, this is what my podcast is going to be about. And we were able to like kind of go back and forth with one mm -hmm. another about you know, when I hear this, I think of X, Y, and Z. And I, and I love that. I, yeah. I, I really love that. Because what is that saying, Trees? It's like, if you want to go fast, go by yourself. If you want to go far, mm -hmm. go, go with know. people or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I get <laughs> yeah. I, know, I don't know the saying, but I know what you're saying. Like, right. It's necessary to be able to, you know, one, it's not, a, it's, it's, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And it's necessary to be surrounded by people that have that same heart as you to be able to go mm -hmm. and push yourself further so I agree with that and I think that that was a pivotal part for me too because I remember sitting there like kind of stuck on what my episode was going to be because you know Tatum really made us outline our show right. in that moment like I want you guys to record your first episode tomorrow we're going to go over and I'm like oh my god I don't even really know what to say <laughs> or you know after recording it and I mean girl I had to do it in like we had like only like but 30 minutes we had to do a 30 minute show pretty much mm -hmm. and so um it was great being able to get the feedback from our peers in the room because they were able to be able to tell us what the strengths were what the opportunities were like we did a complete SWOT analysis on our episode and I actually used that episode that I recorded at the retreat as my first episode on my actual podcast like I still have that episode that I used because for me it was 
it was like a legendary moment. I'm like, you know, I don't, I want my listeners to be able to hear the progression. And so that is where I started at in the in December in the hotel room recording that episode. I'm going to keep that as a keepsake and then can build from that. And right. so, and I mean, that's actually, I mean, people love that episode still to this day. And so um, what was something that you feel like was a valuable takeaway for you from the retreat? The value of the valuable takeaway from the retreat actually for me was um, the motivation to act on intricate detail. Mm -hmm. And I say this because generally, like, I'm, I'm not sure if you took the DISC test, the DISC test is like the personality test. And I'm a, I'm a very mm -hmm. high eye, um, very influential, highly motivated, inspiring. I'm one of those people, like, if I have an idea and I want to do something, like, if my... <laughs> my co uh, my co-host nicole she's like because we we, we kind of have the same personality so she's just like mm -hmm. you know if we say we want to go to the moon we don't know how we're gonna get there we're just gonna be there tomorrow though and yeah. <laughs> with podcasting and how the how to market your podcast you really have to sit down and strategize like how you're going to do that bad boy i'm not saying that you can't just willy-nilly start a podcast and it'll be successful but if you if you want it to be truly successful that you have to sit down and think and strategize like you you just have mm -hmm. to and that's what tatum um kind of put on my heart with developing this uh this project for my podcast because yeah. it has if it has God's name on it, we have to present it with that bow. We, it, it, yeah. it can't be just like, it, it can't be half done. It has to be fully thought out. So that's, mm -hmm. that's one thing that I, um, that I took away from it. So me and my, my business partner, we were just kind of like, okay, how are we going to do this? We're going to just been taking our time. And I, it's been a challenge for me to take my time, but mm -hmm. I've been seeing how we've been able to put this puzzle together. Mm -hmm. So that was that was a value that I was able to take away from from the retreat. That's good because I feel like, like you said, the the strategy, um, and that is a true takeaway takeaway that we did receive was how to strategically put our episodes together. One and then two, how to market it, how to monetize from it. And I've spoke to so many people after retreat, after the retreat, um, that had their own podcast and still struggle with that very thing. They struggle with how to market it. They're struggling with how to monetize from it or even how they even just get listeners to come in. And I've seen my podcast grow. I started, um, I launched my podcast in February. So I took some time, like you said, I needed that time to still organize the structure of the podcast and still go through the coaching with Tatum. But I, when I launched it in February, I was able to see just how like how quick it grew like i mm -hmm. already within maybe within like the first what couple of months i received what i was in the top 200 um of religion and society podcast in the united states and global so tatum showed us one how to even set it up on a hosting platform that would even allow us to distribute out to these different podcasts you know distributions we're able to have our podcast on apple iheart Spotify, Amazon, all of that through Tatum's coaching, right? It's right. Like people using these quick strategies, these quick schemes, um, and it's like they're not being able to see the results that they want, but we were able to get that. We were able to learn, okay, if I put the work in, if I'm consistent, I do this and that, this is going to bring advertisers to my show. Like, this will bring my listeners up. This will allow me to be able to be heard, not just in the United States, not just in my local area, but I'm heard in other countries. You yeah. know, like, God, God said for us, kingdom expansion, making our voice be able to be known all over the world. And we're able to get that reach just through the training and the setting up the strategy that Tatum provided us. And right. so for myself, even after the retreat ended, I ended up signing up for additional coaching with the Find Your Voice Academy. And I was able to get that hands on coaching. And that's why I'm saying like, if you are, you know, really interested and in thinking about, okay, God, like, I know you're calling me to do a podcast. I just need that coaching. I'm telling you, take the investment. It is so important to invest in your business, okay. invest in yourself, invest in your brand, because you're getting experience from someone who's already done it. Right. She's already shown us how to do it. You know, Tatum talks about it all the time on the Blessed and Bossed Up podcast. So now we're able to be in the room and get that one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? And so right. 
it just makes sense. And so, I mean, for me, I'm like, I mean, it just, it just worked. So I feel like that was definitely another thing that I would say was a valuable part for me also was um, really valuing, um, really, really knowing the importance of my voice. I feel like I struggled with um, seeing the value of my voice for, a minute, for, for some time just out of fear, right? I just had fear of oh my God, if I put myself out here, then what people will think of me. But I feel like being in that room, being, getting, you know, the training that I received, you know, I was able to break that bondage of fear. And I remember we got prayed over. Um, Prophetess Tanya Lofty, she prayed over all, every single one of us. She laid hands on our vocal, vocal cords and just prayed over our voices. And for me, that was like a very important moment for me because I feel like that broke the bondage and the stronghold of fear off of me so that I can really get out here and be able to know that my testimony, my story, this is, you know, the word of God says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And so for me, I was like, okay, my testimony, this is my story. This is what is going to make my podcast connect with people and relatable. So, I mean, that was like a very, pivotal piece for me and so I mean that's pretty much I mean I think for myself that was pretty much it I would say um do you feel like you have anything that you would like to share with someone that may be on the fence about you know signing up for the retreat or wanting to learn more information about the retreat is like what, what are some things that you would like to share um what I would say if you are on the fence I would say hop over it because um, what, what the retreat was able to teach me, um, and I'm sure the other women that were there, it's like you have an idea, but you don't know the direction of that idea. And you, sometimes you need that additional push or that additional help to, to have that assistance in someone actually being able to see the vision that you're seeing. They can probably even see it a lot bigger. So I remember one, one particular thing that stood out to me was um, Tatum told us to come up with a plan about writing. Um, it was like writing a, writing a strategy or, or the giveaway or what we were going to be launching in mm -hmm. our podcast, like how we were going to market that. Mm -hmm. And I remember I sat down and I was thinking hard treats. I was thinking real hard. Yeah. We're going we to do X, <laughs> Y, Z, da, 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 da. And then when I, and she wanted to look over it. So when I had brought it to her, she just started like dropping all this knowledge on the piece of paper that I didn't even, I had no idea about because I wasn't thinking the way that she was thinking about the brand or, or, or the idea that I had gave her. And she just has a really, I mean, Tatum is awesome. She has like a really great vision for this. Like God has specifically gifted her with this talent. So yeah. I, I would definitely encourage you if you, if you want to be influential and if Again. I don't know where to be outside this <laughs> if you want to get visibility uh, of of your brand or you want to touch more people you're you want to be able like you were saying to invest in not just anyone but somebody who has already been through the course and I don't know man I just I, I loved working with Tatum because she's faith based and she actually helped me connect more with God. And like you said, mm -hmm. even that prayer piece, it's like she was it was she was there in the thick with us. Yeah. So I it it was it helps me a lot. That's all I can really say. Like it helps it helps me a lot. So I'm really excited. I haven't launched my podcast yet because we had to like detour with COVID. Because I'm not sure if you remember, we were trying to tie in faith and fitness. Mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. and we had ideas, like Tatum had gave us the idea to, you know, tie in like YouTube workout videos. And right. that was hard to do during that time. But I was just like, you know what, to my business part, we just got to push through. We got to go. Yeah. And so even, even still till this day, me and my business partner refer back to those marketing papers. So mm -hmm. I just, I love the, I love the retreat. I feel like everybody can get value out of it. Um, 
like you said, invest in yourself. And it was fun. It was fun. It was, yeah, it was, it was fun. fun. It was real fun. Listen, so. listen, we were we was in a nice hotel, y'all. Like, if you need a getaway, I mean, granted, it was very local for me. I'm from the DMV area, so it was in Virginia, but it was still a nice just get away from everybody it was you know tatum we had nice elegant dinners we dressed up we was cute like we was able to be cute and i'm all for that like okay we can be cute but we can get down to business you know? right and I, I mean for me i'm like we was in the restaurant we was eating we was able to still have some real camaraderie with each other and so um I'm about to share with you all as well my same takeaway. But I, if you have any questions for us about, you know, the Fire Your Voice Academy retreat or the process and how to um, get accepted in or whatever, please go ahead and just write your com write your questions now. Um, you can send us a question and, you know, I'll go ahead and respond. Me and Coco will respond as soon as I'm done. But I just want to go ahead and prep you guys. If you have a question, go ahead and just get your questions together. And we'll, we will more than uh, be happy to answer your questions. So for me, I would definitely say if a person is on the fence about, you know, uh, joining the retreat, even listening, I would say sign up for the open house. That was my first step. I was like, look, I just need to go listen to the open house. Let me hear and let me ask Tatum specific questions on the open house call tatum goes she's very detailed about what that open house you know about what the retreat what you can expect from the retreat the process and how to get accepted and she's very detailed she gives all the outline instructions um there is an application i mean i know what we had to do an application process i don't know what the application what the process will be this go around but i'm just saying she shares all of that information on the open house call any questions that you may you know may have all of that is going to be there and another thing, if for me, if you may be on the fence, I would just say to seek God. I really had to be in prayer about if it was if it was for me to do this retreat. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when me and Coco did it last year for the December retreat, Tatum originally only came out with a November retreat. It was only one retreat at first. And I had originally applied for that November retreat, right? I put in my application. I gave her all the details about what my show was going to be about, all that. And I originally did not get accepted, y'all. And so for me, at first, that discouraged me. Honestly, I was discouraged about, oh, my God, like, maybe this is not for me to do. But then what I love is that Tatum emailed me, and she asked me what I like feedback on my application. And I took her up on that. I said, yes, I would like feedback on my application. Please share with me how to, you know, expand this. And so after she sent the feedback, she made another announcement saying that God told her to do another retreat in December. So I'm like, okay, God, is it for me to do this again? Like, what? I and so I prayed about it. God said, yes. I took the feedback that Tatum gave me and I applied again and I got accepted. And so I'm saying when you really know that God is calling you to do something, it's not the enemy it's not he's not gonna roll out a red carpet you're gonna have to persevere you're gonna have to push you're gonna have to go for that very thing and so even if the finances all of that stuff you don't have it it's about having faith it's about seeking God about what he called you to do and so for me I was able to be blessed just off the fact that I didn't get accepted the first go around but guess what I got accepted the second go around a delay is not a denial okay so at the end of the day, go and do that very thing that God has purposed you to do. If he's purposed you to create a podcast, if you're not 100% sure about the outline, about what your show structure and all of that is going to be, go and seek wisdom. That's what they're there for. Anchor Media Team is there to help you put your podcast together, to be able to orchestrate and understand all about the structure on how to create a show. If you already have a show, you may already have a podcast. But you need that extra that that extra help, that extra coaching to be able to leverage it to the audience and to the masses that you're trying to reach and to be able to monetize on a different level. They also help with people who already have a current podcast. I'm telling you, this team was a divine connection for the both of us. You know what I'm saying? Like it was divinely put together. And I'm telling you, you definitely just have to seek the Lord about the timing. But I'm, I really believe that the time is now. Um, God created us as women for such a time as this. And so we only get certain opportunities. And you don't want to miss, you know, that opportunity when it's for you. And so, again, if you, 
you know, really feel like this is something that God is telling you to do, or you may be still um, in question about it. I'm telling you now, go ahead and sign up for the Fire Voice Academy retreat. You can click on the Anchor Media, the page, click on the link in their bio. It's a free open house, y'all. You have no nothing. You don't have to pay. You don't have to do anything. It's a free call, and Tatum will be able to, and her team will be able to provide you with all the instructions, all the directions in regards to that open house. So does anybody have any questions for us? I see people writing in the chat. Um, Coco, do you see anything? Do you see any questions or any comments? I don't see any questions on, on my side, but I do see a comment that said, well, you sold me. All right, Sharice, pull up now. <laughs> okay, and so, and Tatum put it on, she said all of the information for how to apply will be on, will be given at the open house. You can register using the link. So, um, yeah, so if y'all, you know, we're going to be here for a little bit more time, but like I said, if you have any questions in regards to the retreat or um how to you know the whole process or whatever or what our experience was like please feel free to just write in the chat and we will i i'm happy i'm happy you were able to get some some great takeaways from it um okay you say you just joined what did you miss tonight we're talking about the find your voice academy retreat um tatum is doing another the anchor media team and tatum are doing another open house this upcoming um next wednesday october 7th at 7 p.m and so this is for, you know, the retreat in the academy is for those who are looking to start a podcast or if you already have a podcast and you are looking to um, expand your podcast on how to get more listeners, how to monetize, how to um, just grow your show. Um, this retreat is for you. And so we're, t we're here tonight. Myself, I'm, my name is Latrice and I'm here with Coco Chanel and we are here to just talk to you all about our experience with the last um, Find Your Voice Academy retreat that we attended. We attended back in December of 2019. And so it was, like I said, it's a very intimate setting. I love it because Tatum is very selective about who she chooses. She hears from God. It was not too many people. It was only like about 20 of us. So we were able to be in an intimate environment. We were able to ask Tatum hands-on questions. Uh, we were being, we was able to connect with her team. And so... You know, it was just a great experience. It was just a great it was. Tatum experience. I loved it. I loved it. If Tatum, listen, if Tatum lets me come back again, I might pull up. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, I feel like it was definitely, and I'm just excited because I feel like we go and we get coaching for so many other things. Like, if you're trying to get in your fitness journey, you you hire a personal trainer. If you are seeking for some wisdom, you hire a therapist. So I feel like this is what, you know, um, coaching. We went to a podcast coach and I'm like, I love that Tatum created this because this is the first of any podcast retreat that I've ever heard of or been to. So um, McCoy Solution, she says, did both of you guys have a podcast before joining the retreat? No, I, did. I didn't. I had a failed podcast. Um that I wasn't really committed to. I started it with like two other girls. So I, but we, it was like one of those things that, okay, we're going to, we're going to do a podcast. But like I was saying before, um, earlier, we had jumped the gun. We didn't come up with the marketing plan. We didn't come up with the strategy plan. We, we didn't come up with all of that. So, um, I went in with a, with another idea. I already knew what I want, want the basis of my podcast to be. But um, the way that Tatum and her team were able to just lay the lay the love on us, I'll say that they laid the love of podcast uh, podcasting on us. Because uh, trees, like you said, it was it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. I remember at the end of the day, my brain would be so fried, I wouldn't even stay up like <laughs> I usually would. Like I was going to sleep, do the homework that Tatum gave us, and then go to sleep. Yeah. And I mean, you know, and that's the good part because I know for myself, I had a, I used to struggle with like commitment, um, really committing to something. And so, and being, and even being a procrastinator for real. <laughs> so being in this retreat, it helped really push me, mm -hmm. um, beyond my own self. It allowed me to, and that's why I needed to go, even though the retreat was local, I knew that I needed to 
get away from my personal environment and go mm -hmm. be in that space. So I invested in staying. I, I spent, you know, four nights there. I'm like, I'm going to get my room and I'm going to stay here. And I need to really put myself in this environment because I knew that I was required. I'm, I'm now trying to push myself to be a better version of myself. I, mm -hmm. I didn't want to keep being um, lacking commitment and procrastinating and just doing those things. So I knew that I needed to be in that environment. And so I think for me, it really helped me to leverage where I am today, where now I can have a consistent podcast. I put out a show every week. And right. so, I mean, for me, it, it really helped me to be able to um, continue. And right. so now that's what I really was looking for is the commitment level to go to another level. And so I didn't have a podcast before, but now I do. Um, my show is called The God is My Superpower Podcast. You can find it on all streaming platforms. But I'm telling you, it was birthed through this. Like it really helped Tatum and her team really helped me to be able to push this um, baby out finally. <laughs> So, yeah, so we're, you know, we're taking questions now, guys. If anybody has any questions for us, we're going to be here for another 10 minutes. If y'all have any questions, feel free to just drop it in. We are, you know, we love to talk to you guys. We would love to answer any questions about the Fire Voice Academy retreat, about the process, about our process in the retreat and, you know, what it was like for us. But, you know, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it. But, yeah, I would definitely say that, um, it was it was it was a good experience, a good environment for me, and it really you know positioned me to be able to have confidence in myself as a host too. Because I think the thing about um, going to the retreat was people, like you said, it's plenty of people. You had a show before. It's plenty of people that we know that have podcasts. Some mm -hmm. people treat their podcast as if it's just a hobby. Now, right. granted, you can have fun with your podcast, right? You should have fun with doing your show. It should. It, to me, it doesn't feel like work. However, right. Tatum is teaching us how, one, podcasting is about to be a billion-dollar industry. Why not? Why not learn how to set up the strategy so that we can be able to create income from it? And so, right. um, yep. So, Rel Talk says, once you get accepted for the treat, retreat in the academy, an ongoing coaching experience, well... To be able to be able to um to be able to get the coaching the one on one coaching experience with Tatum, the qualification is you do have to first get accepted into the academy retreat. Once you get accepted into the retreat, then that can be offered to you afterwards. But you do have to get accepted into um the Fire Voice Academy retreat first. Um, I definitely know. I don't know what the new experience would be, but like I said, if you join the open house, Tatum will be able to give you all of that information. But the coaching comes after the retreat, but you get mm -hmm. coaching at the retreat as well. So were we scared at first? Coco, were you scared at first? No, I wasn't, I wasn't scared at first. I was ready. Like I was mm -hmm. ready. I was just like, man, Tatum, I, cause I've been listening to Tatum for years. So it was one of those things where it's just like, you know, I, I trust Tatum. So she, she about to give me the, the juice. Mm -hmm. so I was ready I didn't I didn't have a fear at all um how about you I would say no I, I agree I think for me I me signing up for this retreat I knew that it was go time it was go time it was exactly. it was time for me to like I said strip off the old stuff now I'm not gonna say was I I was afraid of still okay uh getting my voice out there being able to will I be successful at it yeah like will I be successful at doing this but yeah, I mean, you you know that if God gave you it, he's not going to give you his vision, his plan just to see you fail. That's right. the whole point of, you know, being able to, we're God's daughters, you know? And so I knew that he gave me this podcast. He gave me the name for it. He gave me the vision for it. And so that fear went away because I had to learn how to truly trust him in it. And Tatum talks about it all the time, God being our CEO. You know, and so if I if I'm saying God is my CEO and then be saying my podcast, God is my superpower, I gotta be able to remove that fear that that is a a demonic fear mm -hmm. and be able to tap into what God said and what God has for us. So the next question is what's you all's biggest takeaway from the retreat, strategy strategy sessions, et cetera, helped you guys to develop? Coco, you wanna go first? Yeah, because I think um, I think I we had hit on this question before, mm -hmm. but um, 
what I was saying was uh, Tatum actually motivated me to act on intricate detail. So yeah, the strategy piece. Um, what I was uh, mentioning before is if you ever take the disc test, and I would definitely um, highly suggest you guys do that. But the disc test tells you what type of personality you have. Um, I'm a high eye. High eyes are very influential. They're very inspiring. Um, they're high energy on the go, but we don't pay attention, a lot of attention to detail. So being at that retreat, every day was detailed i believe uh the first day was just detail about podcasts like how do you do podcasting what comes with monetizing the next day we started doing the marketing strategy piece the next day was the accounting with dj like um he was showing us how to how to run the numbers and the, and the money in our business like all of that was just intricate and detail of how we were going to be able to if we were going to be able to put our podcast out to the world mm -hmm for it to be visible. Um, so yeah, that was that was one of my biggest takeaway is do the back end work first with the strategies and, and all those details. So when you come out, you know, you, you, you're you ready to go. You already have your plans. You already have um, your steps and a plan. That was my biggest takeaway. Agreed. And so, I mean, they definitely helped us to be able to create the business structure for a podcast. If you are looking to you know, make this your business. I mean, they definitely walk you through. And like you said, um, the financial piece, we learned about the financial piece, how to be able to be successful um, with the financial, you know, startup for it. And so um, that was a takeaway. We learned how to monetize the podcast. We learned how, about advertising. We learned about um, how to organize and set up our outline for our show. We also learned about um, editing how to edit a podcast through using, you know, GarageBand or using iMovie if you do visuals. So those were some of the things that they um, really went into detail about. Those were some of our sessions at the retreat. Yeah. And so um, the next, oh, she asked me um, what would I say was um, some pointers for the application process. And so for my, um, what I can remember is um, some, parts of the application was just mainly your main thing is if like knowing like what your name or your show is going to be or what if you already have a show what your show is um the vision for what's the vision behind it one of the things that i definitely needed to define in my application was my audience who is my audience going to be because that, the important part of it is like who are you speaking to one mm -hmm. your podcast is not going to be for everybody so who is the specific person who is the what is the need that you want to be able whether you are giving a like are you solving a problem or whatever the case may be who are you speaking to who is that specific audience um that your podcast is going to be tailored to have the vision for the show you don't have mm -hmm. to have a full outline detail but like have the whole vision the concept and pretty much um some foundational scriptures that you may stand on as far as um your podcast so yep so some of the, those are some um processes i don't know if the application would be different this go around but again those are just some points just having a main idea of what type of show you want to do um if you already have a show just talking about what your show already represents right absolutely you're welcome we are about to wrap up ladies but we'll take one more question if you have any questions for me and coco chanel you can um just go ahead and write it and um Yep, and Tatum says we will discuss more in depth about the application process and the open house. Um, she says, um, I have a vision for my podcast, but still can't move forward. I would just say, you know, go into prayer about it. Really mm -hmm. ask God to help you. If God gave you the vision for the podcast, he gave you the name for the podcast, ask him to help you create the show for it. Like, what is what does he want you to say? And that's something that before I do every episode, God, I decrease so that you can increase in me. What do you want me to say? It's not what I want to say, but right. what do you want me to say? Right. Right. Absolutely. All right, ladies. So thank you all for tuning in with us tonight. Again, I am Latrice Coco. 
Coco Chanel, the Mademoiselle. You guys can follow <laughs> me on IG if you would like. But I, I highly encourage you guys if if the podcasting is what you want to do and something that you feel like is in your realm to reach people, I highly suggest FYBA. Yeah, I, same I, I here. Highly recommend the Fire Voice Academy retreat. Again, my name is Latrice. You can follow me at God is my superpower. Her is P O W H E R. And remind, rem um, just a reminder to sign up for the Fire Voice Academy retreat. The open house is going to be next Wednesday, October 7th at 7 p.m. It's free to join. You can just click the link in the Anchor Media bio and just, you know, go ahead and sign up and get all the information, all the questions that you may have will be answered on that open house call. So we definitely appreciate you guys for tuning in tonight. God bless you, ladies. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.